Your personal beliefs about marriage and how it works will definitely inform how you approach the counseling process as you try to help couples. I want to clearly show you what a healthy Christian marriage looks like. This will give you something to aim at. When you have something to aim at, you know whether you are succeeding or whether you are failing. Now, some of these concepts that I'm about to share can be really challenging to some people. I don't expect you to swallow this hook, line, and sinker. I would rather ask you, hold it up to the truth of Scripture and see whether it checks out. And you accept it if you want to. But I will say this, when you have something to aim at, you can be more beneficial to the couples you are trying to assist. A healthy marriage begins with two healthy adults. Let's start right there. What makes an individual an adult? Well, simply put, personal responsibility. An adult is 100% responsible for themselves. When we become responsible for ourselves emotionally, spiritually, physically, and mentally, we are adults. Now, we may not know how to look after ourselves well, but it is still our responsibility to do that. This may happen differently in different cultures, but I think we can all agree that at some point, people need to take responsibility for themselves. So on the screen before you, you notice that there are two figures and there's a circle around each one of them. That circle we're going to call the boundary of personal responsibility. So inside of that circle, I am 100% responsible for myself. Here's the kicker. When those two people get married, they do not assume responsibility for one another. You remain responsible for yourself. Now, you may help your spouse if they want assistance, and guess what? Your spouse may help you if you are seeking assistance, but it is not your responsibility to take care of the other person. Now, this boundary of personal responsibility, I want you to know, is God-given. Even God has placed on us the ability to choose for ourselves. He respects that boundary of personal responsibility. He will never violate that boundary, come into our lives and force us to do anything. If we are hurting ourselves, he may even stand outside and knock on the door and yell at us and try to admonish us, but he will never force us. He respects the boundary of personal responsibility. I am hoping that you can see that in a marriage, there needs to be a boundary between one spouse and the other, and that boundary needs to be respected. As a Christian therapist, I want to clearly say this. We believe in the centrality of faith. In other words, with Jesus in an individual's life, he can be so much more than he could be without Jesus in his life. I want to say this, though. Having Jesus in your life and faith a part of your life is not a guarantee of a healthy marriage. It's not a guarantee of a great marriage. I've seen unbelievers that have really good marriages. I've seen Christians with really bad marriages. But I do believe that with Jesus in your life, you have the potential to have the richest marriage possible. We have these two individuals in front of you, each one with the boundary of personal responsibility. These two individuals have not met yet. When they do meet, and in our modern society today begin dating, a space opens up between the two of them we're going to call the interactive space. The interactive space is a space you can go into, and it's a space you can go out of. Right now, I'm standing in a studio recording, and uh, my wife is in a different province. I'm not in the interactive space with her. If I pick up my cell phone and call her, 
I would have entered into that interactive space. When we hit that red button on our phone, we outside of that interactive space with each other. The interactive space can be a sweet place to be, and then unfortunately, sometimes it can be a war zone. What determines the quality of the interactive space is the quality of the personal space. When you are a healthy adult, emotionally, spiritually, physically, and mentally, you give yourself the best chance to show up in that interactive space safely for your spouse and to have a great interaction with them. The healthy people in the personal space make a great interactive space. So we have these two personal spaces and this one interactive space. When these two individuals decide that they want to get married, they seal this whole deal with a covenant. Now, let me say something about a covenant. A covenant is very different from a contract. And here's the richness of a Christian marriage. When we enter into covenant, what we are basically saying, irrespective of what you do, I'm going to do my part. A contract says, when you do this, I'll do that. I think when we have a marriage that's like that, we're a little iffy. It's not going to be fulfilling. We need to do our part, irrespective of what the other person does. We seal the whole deal with the covenant. As I said earlier in the video, having a clear picture of what a healthy Christian marriage looks like gives you something to aim at. I've been in counseling situations where I am drawn by one person's desire in the counseling room. And I kind of camp with this person and lose their spouse because I really don't know what I'm aiming at. I'm going at what is the client aiming at. When you have a picture of a healthy marriage, you know what you are aiming at and where you are leading these people to. I so desire that your counseling with couples is fulfilling to you, but also helpful to those couples. Having this clear image, this is what a healthy marriage looks like, is really going to benefit you.